naturally, these two conversations go hand in hand, right? Academic advising and career readiness. I was just looking at a NACE report this morning um, from another meeting. It's like 50% of career centers really see academic advising and career services as two different entities. I can see why, you know, depending on the university structure, but I think here at Washington State University, we really see those two conversations going hand in hand, right? Because oftentimes students are pursuing a specific academic plan because of the career that they'd like to see themselves in, uh, you know, after graduation, right? And sometimes that could mean that the student's going off to graduate school, doing professional school, or they're going to go into entrepreneurship. There's lots of different routes that a student can take, but I will say oftentimes their academic journey to get there is vitally important. And the person helping them navigate that journey is oftentimes their academic advisor. So being able to really think of those two things as integrated um, and ensuring that our academic advising community has the tools to um, really be confident in those conversations is really important. I've also found, you know, within the colleges, oftentimes our advisors are really in tune with what's happening within their college, right? And so if there's an advisory board that has external stakeholders, you know, and that could be possible employers, um, you know, like they're really in tune with what's happening within their college. And they oftentimes know a lot more than they give themselves credit for when it comes to um, career engagement and career readiness. And so, you know, being able to say like, you've got this, like you have all the tools, you've already been having these conversations. Let's just be a little more intentional about it.